The move follows what the SABC says has been extensive engagements with music representatives and a need to show more appreciation for local content. Yeah, this new policy of music, 90% uh, of South African music, comes out of a bigger uh, decision that we've made, which started with us making a conscious decision that we are going to increase local content on our platform. And it started a few years ago when we put aside 600 million for local content. In opting to play 90% local music, the SABC is also going beyond what is required of it by the Independent Communications Authority of South Africa, ICASA. ICASA requires that holders of public sound broadcasting service licenses must play at least 60% South African music. The continent of Africa has given birth to many great things. This news is music to the ears of many artists in the country. Unatim Sangan is one of the well-established and known artists in South Africa. We're finally learning from the rest of Africa. When you travel, you, you get to experience the pride that countries have in themselves. And we've never managed to, to express that musically because of the quota. So it just instills so much pride in terms of the emotion that comes behind the music being played. To put ourselves first doesn't mean we're against anything else. It just means we're pro-us for the very first time sonically in South Africa. And we're finally catching up to the wisdom of the rest of the continent. From Zwake Mbuli, this has been a long journey. He, alongside other legendary artists, started the fight to have this quota right after the democratic government was installed in 1994. This victory is for generations to come. This victory is the victory for um, the Makebas of this world, the, the Lucky Dubis of this world. And uh, I am smiling inside. Um, the smile is broader than the one you see facially, that we are excited and uh, uh, it's job well done. I know it's a collective effort. The SABC says it will review this decision on a continuous basis. A number of local artists we spoke to believe that the new policy by the public broadcaster won't only give local artists more exposure and royalties, but could also promote entrepreneurs and record labels. Yodison Jamela, CCTV in Johannesburg, South Africa.